Welcome to Invest. We talk about investing, finance, and professional development. As a quick time of 9:46 a.m. on the Eastern Time on April 17th on Monday. Hope you guys have a good weekend and also happy Monday. Ethereum closed at thousand two hundred seventy dollars, about two point three five percent so far. As you can see on the left side of the chart,、uh, the overall crypto market is relatively down to flat at the moment,、um, and this is more of a technical exercise today. I don't see any specific、uh, type of macro catalyst if we're looking around the news, but across the spectrum, if you take a look, it's relatively flat to,、um, I guess,、uh, not really moving much, as we are prepping for the earnings seasons to be happening coming up. On the cryptos, on the overall macro side, you could just see that most of the news are relatively trivial, so nothing really driving up or down. And、uh, what's really driving the, I guess, normalization from the crypto side for Ethereum specifically, as you can see, that we have reached to a level of two thousand one hundred and forty-three, which is just a hair below two thousand one hundred and fifty, which is a technical level versus a two thousand fifty dollars level, which is a level that we are technically above right now. And what's really drive? What's uh going on right now? Uh, why do we see these like two like relatively nice green candles? Is because of the Shanghai updates, right? And it seems like the transition on a technological front and an infrastructural front worked out just as ex- as expected. So it translates into positivity on a buying pressure. But right now, um, the question mark is uh, can we sustain? And I think on a high level, based on the technical level right now, you could see that we got rejected to one five zero, and now we're heading to the next level. Also at the same time, on a daily, it looks quite extended, right? With the sixty seven out of seventy. Also on the curvature front on the MACD is quite large, indicating that we should technically normalize down before we run up from here. On the weekly front, you can see that we're also quite extended. Unfortunately,、uh, large separations at sixty-five out of seventy. So it is quite risk uh, high um, at the level right now versus、uh, you know obviously weeks ago.、Um, so I would definitely be cautious if you think about buying now. But obviously, if you think about this from a long-term perspective,、um, it's not a terrible level to get into. But、uh, it's it's definitely not. Um, you know, ideal to be buying when you know most of the technical indicators are extended,、um, and also with respect to the next level leap up for two thousand one hundred and fifty, the next level is technically two four five zero, right? So that's a level that you want to be cautious about. Is there logical for us to keep going up? Because、uh, like technically, if you want to translate into two four five zero, this will mean that the RSI will be somewhere around eighty, which is、uh, even more risky, right? On the monthly, it is looking quite nice. You know, you can see that we're about to form a golden cross. So that means that the bull market should technically begin、uh, in the next couple of months, which is、uh, something that we've been looking for. Bitcoin is also normalizing. You can see that monthly is also bullish, but the weekly, very extended, at sixty-four out of seventy. Daily, also quite extended. You can see that we're forming a death cross clearly right now,、uh, as you were leap, you know, reaching to a relatively high level of two, ah, thirty-one thousand. The next level logically will be going down to twenty nine five hundred. You could see that at the fifty eight out of seventy death crossing,、uh, RSI is definitely not looking、um, the healthiest in terms of buying around this level. It does look like we are about to、uh, basically sell off down back to two nine five hundred to the level twenty eight thousand, which is a more of a substantive logical resistance level. And then on index front, you can see that、uh, right now the market has been open for about 19 minutes so far.、Um, on the weekly, it is looking like quite extended. Daily, it is looking even more extended, 63 out of 70.、Uh, so it does indicate that we should technically see some normalization downwards before we run up. Monthly, it is looking quite、um, obviously with the separation that we have, 55 out of 70. It is looking、uh, like in the near term again, we should see some correction before we run up from here. So definitely be cautious about the whole market front. You know, in the short term again, we should see some bearishness. But as we get over the hump and we align on the charts, right? Again, monthly, weekly, and daily,、um, to be all aligned to to kind of set it up, set it up to form this curvature up to form a golden cross, indicates that we should see some bull run coming, which is good, right? So appreciate you. It's a more of a shorter video, but uh, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Today is not that much of an active day on the news front, or、uh, so it's not really driving up or down, but more of a technical exercise that we're seeing as as it's kind of normalizing.
So have a good day. I'll check you on the next one. Take care. Bye.